If she had only been ugly, we would still be... Everybody, when they reach a certain level of fame and popularity, whether it's an actor or a musician or a comedian, they lose sight of others around them and the fact that people drive in. I used to, to do spots here and to do spots at the comedy store. That's why I sort of stopped uh, for years. Yeah, I know. You really just, I didn't know you were still living out here. I uh, was commuting back and forth with The Daily Show, and then I came back. I had missed my kids. I have a 12-year-old and an 8-year-old, yeah. so I really missed these people. You had your kids at the Christmas, Christmas uh, Day, didn't you? So I, I thought I met your kids. They came in here and volunteered a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so... It was Christmas or Thanksgiving. I think it was, I think it was Christmas. Thanks, uh, but they've come in on both, oh, okay. I think, and, and it's great. Uh, I was around. I'm very present, but I just also know that those years are going to pass me by very quickly. Of course. And I want to hang out with them as much as I possibly can. My wife would, I'd read my daughter a story and I'd fall asleep on the bed next to her because I was so exhausted. I got up at 6.30. You're falling asleep on her? What's that? On the before she, yeah, before, before she, she falls asleep? asleep yeah. <laughs> She's reading me the story. Uh, and my wife would wake me up. She goes, you got to go to the comedy store. You got to go to the comedy store. And I get up. My hair's a mess. You know, I, got all one I can't even on. imagine that. <laughs> yeah. With the hair you have no, today. Not today. The coif. No, no. It's beautiful today. A pompadour. You have a pompadour. A little pompadour. A little bit. Oh, it's nice. A little Eric Estrada. <laughs> You're a little tall. You're two inches taller today. So I'd, I'd wake up, fix my beautiful hair, and then I'd pound a Red Bull, jump in my car, yell at Tommy the entire time. I'm three minutes away. To tell him to stretch. And I'd <laughs> run up on stage. And that's how I was going about business. Oh, yeah. And it's not good. And then now that the kids are older and up, I'm... I'm around, you know. It's Friday night's movie night. I'm, I'm missing, I got a. Uh, well, you know, you got to. You, it's you, that's you, more right. important for you sure. You won't have that day, those days back. No, you can they're, they're going to be out of the house in three years. I uh, and three years. Well, out with their friends. Oh, oh okay. Wanna, they're not going to want to hang out with yeah, dad yeah. on a Friday uh, night. You hope, a, sometimes they do. This is a small window, and yeah. so I want to make sure that I really appreciate these moments, and just I want to have the foresight to um, be there when the going's great. You know. Well, Cecily asked me why you don't book more, why you don't put in for spots here more. And what did you tell Cecily? I don't know. <laughs> well, Cecily, is she upstairs probably right now? Or maybe no, she's, uh, she, upstairs? you know, she, she does the schedule. Yeah, is that across the street or is that in this building? Across the street. Okay. Where'd you park? I parked across the street. Five, 1510? Yeah, in the spot that says Dane Cook. Oh, that's 1520. That's good. All right. Uh, yeah, we used to, uh, me, <laughs> I don't want to say that on the show. <laughs> I'll tell you later. No, I parked in not the Dane spot, but just in one of those. But I'm fine right there, right? Yeah. Dane, um, Dane by the way, checks on that during the day. <laughs> That's just to make it's very, <laughs> it's very temperamental. But I do, spot. Uh, but back to the anger thing, I get fucking angry. I do get pissed. But uh, I, I love that about you because it was another side to you. I just thought you were this mellow dude. And, you know, always I always got along with you, and I always thought the world of your work, not to get Sammy Maudlin on you. But then when I saw that, <clears> I was like, I fucking like that feist in his house, guy. Yeah, you know, because I have that. I mean, no, I we calling out Robin or or saying so like, hey, you know th that what you're doing is not right. Even in like you know, in here, I had I remember so many funny moments. Um, Sunda introduced me for a, a corporate gig. Sunda Sunquist, yeah, yeah. I, and uh, it's so fun to just call people out. Just ate shit. I mean, really, just tanked it as hard as he can. And um, I remember coming up after her and uh, just completely calling her out on it. Uh, Theo Vaughn in here having a full conversation right, while right. I was on stage, just stopping the show and talking to him about it. I called out fucking um, Hots, J Jeremy Hots running around playing grab ass with Jamie upstairs, yelling at him. You could hear them? <laughs> yeah. He was, they would do this all the time and they would just constantly, you'd, he'd scream out loud and I, I'm just screaming at them from stage, full audience of people, Hots, shut the <laughs> fuck up. I go, oh.